Welcome back to Millag Monday, Sleeping Amy family. We have a little bit of mail today, but it's gonna be some goodies, that's for sure. Can't really compete to last week's when I had such a backlog of mail, but we do have some mail today, and some mail is still supposed to be coming in. I have gotten a few things over the past weekend. They're gonna be in envelopes, just because of little small things, but hopefully they will get here in, within this week or next week, but I know I still have a couple more just pieces of mail coming around so <laughs> we should have some for next week as well but as far as this week let's get into the mail I think two of these are from the same person yes uh, I believe so actually that's the wrong one I picked up mm -hmm. all right so we will go into the first one um, there is a letter and also a bubble mailer from Unbreakables TCG. I mean, we'll get into the letter first. <laughs> Unbreakables has like some awesome static sales. So not surprising. And <laughs> PWE kind of just takes a little bit forever for me to get. So I've been trying not to do that if I can. Of course, if it's like really just like one card or just, uh, a small amount of cards. I tend to just do envelopes because it's, it's like $10 or under. I usually do that. But the cards I got from Unbreakables are the Electrode Hollow from Jungle, Blaine's Maggie from Gym Challenge, and Lieutenant Surge's Ratata from, also from Gym Challenge. The Electrode, I'll probably have to put it in like a book or something to get it to flatten out a little bit is one I needed for the jungle sets and the other two are for obviously the gym or gym era sets. Mike and I are working on those next. Uh, we are getting close to finishing Jungle and Fossil. Team Rocket is still another feat. I still have quite a few hollow and non-hollow cards to get there, but that one is uh, is getting there. And of course with the gym era sets, uh, I only had a few cards from there uh, from my childhood <laughs> that I kept. It's a Pokemon that were Misty or Brocks or ones that I just kind of liked. So some were Volprit, Volpix, but Mudkip I don't think ever opened up any of the Gym Era cards. So we're pretty much starting from scratch on the Gym ones. We just had a few. Uh, we did have, I think, a couple of the. I did have a couple of Hollows, I believe. So that was cool to start out with. But it is. Like I said, pretty much starting from scratch there. But anyways, we will put that electro in the binder and uh, we will get closer and closer to finishing Jungle and then Fossil. I think both of them just require three cards left, so I'm keeping my eyes peeled for those. And the other one that I have from Unbreakables is, I think there's some more, just more other cards too. Let's see. And we got a few freebies here. We got Staryu and a Dope Duo. These are from these are from Evolutions. And then we have uh, <laughs> this Dondozo from the second release of the Old Maid set in Japanese. So that's cool. The ones that I got from Unbreakables were this rocket sneak attack from Team Rocket that we didn't have. And I believe this is the non-holo, right? Yes, that is the non-holo. Got Scyther from Jungle, Brox Golem from Gym Heroes, Victory Bell from Jungle, Lapras from Fossil, Brox Sandslash from Gym Heroes, and the Pikachu Wizards of the Coast promo that we also did not have. We are working on the Wizards of the Coast promos. I know I think I've said this before, there are a few that are way up there in price, very difficult to find. So it's those that we realize we may not ever get, which is perfectly fine. We're trying to get as many as we can. And I think it's the uh, Pokemon Center and the Lucky Stadium. And I think there's one more that are some of the promos I think you had to be in this at a certain place to get them. Uh, similar, I guess, to the Paradise Resort card for Scarlet and Violet. That one you had to be at the 
a world championship to get <laughs> or you had to participate in order to get that promo and again that's probably a promo for Scarlet and Violet that Mike and I are probably just not gonna get which is fine we're gonna get as many of them as we can and I think we'll probably get all of them except that one again that's just us <laughs> what we can do uh, so it's just these older promos and just cars that they didn't print that uh, didn't print too many of so Unfortunately, they're just harder to obtain But we got a few more like I said we were getting a little bit closer to finishing that jungle and fossil set so Okay <laughs> But I'm very glad to get these it's all like vintage today I believe and the last one is from uh, Justin and both uh, Twitter handles will be down below as the as I start to show off the cards. Okay. And for these, we have, I believe it's just the two. We have the Kabutops from Fossil, the hollow there. And haven't seen the Kabutops hollow since uh, my Kip had this one in first edition, helped me trade up towards this card off to the side, this uh, Moonbrion you guys see here. So <laughs> we have Kabutops Hollow from Fossil, and we also have this Raichu Hollow from the base set, which actually means we are done with the base set. <laughs> we have finished it, we have finally gotten the last card to go in there, and I will absolutely show you guys the binder. Um, right now the binder is not holding just the base set, it is also holding uh, Jungle, Fossil, and the Team Rocket sets as well as the promos. So all these cards will be going in there except for the Gym Era cards. <laughs> gym Heroes, Gym Challenge cards. Those I uh, don't think they'll fit in there, <laughs> so I'll have to get a new binder for those. But yes, we have finished the base set. And I will show you guys the binder with uh, with this one in there. And uh, I'm very excited. <laughs> and I will show you all the cards. I'll tell you about all the cards that are in there. Um, it's just, I never thought base, a complete like base set would be something possible. But with my Kip, we have a complete base set together. So <laughs> uh, give me a few minutes. It'll just seem seconds like you guys and you will see the binder. So here is the the binder, the vintage binder that holds the base set era cards. So this would be base set, jungle, fossil, and team rocket, as well as the promos are actually in the back too. But when uh, Mike and I were putting the sets together, we realized Wizards of the Coast does not do it by the way, the cards aren't set up the way we know now, not by typing. Uh, we know that grass goes first and such in the typing, but they didn't set them up like that. They also didn't set them up by uh, Pokedex number. They didn't do that either. Instead, <laughs> Wizards of the Coast actually organizes their cards by alphabet. So in case you're wondering why it seems like such a weird order, it's because all these cards are organized by alphabet instead of Pokedex number or typing. So that is, a, <laughs> that is something interesting and we figured out after we were starting to put this together. <laughs> I thought it was just kind of in a random order. No, it's by alphabet. And I think it's because they were doing it the same way they did their Magic of the Gathering cards. I'm guessing they put them by alphabet, so they just did it the same way with the Pokemon whenever they had the set, uh, whenever they printed the set. So I cannot, honestly cannot remember. I know there's a few that were from my childhood. A lot of these came from Mudkip, though. Uh, he opened up a lot of the base set. <laughs> he opened up a lot of, I think, Fossil as well, and a good bit of Jungle. Didn't open up as much Team Rocket from the bulk that I have. But yes, and he is very proud because not only did he have Blastoise and Charizard, but he had Venusaur as well. <laughs> he had all three big boys. He was very excited. He actually held on to those for a while finally wanted me to put him in the binder just to have them all together and he knows he'll be safe there. I think uh, 
Garros was one that I had, Neo King was one I had, and the Machamp. Machamp is always the first edition card. You will never find an unlimited Machamp because it came in a deck and it's just always a first edition card. Um, <laughs> uh, several of these we did have to purchase. I think Magneton was one of them. Um, I think I had Mewtwo, but again, I, I put this together and because I've pieced out the ones that my Kip had in his collection and the ones in my collection, I just really can't remember who's whose. I just know he had a lot more than I did. Um, <laughs> and uh, whenever I was a kid, didn't get to open up base set as much. I opened up base set two. So I have a few base set two cards. And if we flip, like you guys saw, we got the last one and it is going into that last slot in the binder. <laughs> so we got all the hollows there. <laughs> Oh man, and I think pretty much my kip had nearly all, if not all, the commons and uncommons. And if you notice, like this dugong, it's actually shadowless. He had a lot of shadowless too, so I have a lot of extra shadowless. Um, <laughs> and it's one of those, I'm going to keep the shadowless for now. And I guess if it's I need it for trade or something special, I'm holding on to the Shadowless until my Kip is actually here with me because <laughs> um, we do a long distance thing right now. <laughs> but I'm holding on to it right now. I think eventually we'll end up doing probably a bigger vintage like sale just because we have so much vintage uh, from the, the base era set. So it's not just the Dugong, I believe it's also we got the Pokemon Breeder. That one is actually shadowless. And I know I passed one that's shadowless. Um, is it also on this page? It was the Magmar. Magmar is actually shadowless. So here's a shadowed one you see on the side. And the shadowless does not have that. So it is perfectly fine. We have shadowless unlimited cards in here. I don't think we cared what type of card went in here. Uh, if we had an unlimited version, perfectly fine. So, <laughs> but Mike was very proud of his big boys, just so you know. <laughs> the three big ones, uh, Blastoise, Charizard, and Venusaur. And uh, we go to further into the binder, you guys will see all of it, every single card, all of them. <laughs> Some of the rare trainers are the ones I had to go and find. I had to go and get those from TCG Player. It's just a couple of random ones. And all the energies, too. They actually have energies as part of the set as well. They don't do that anymore. The energies are just there. <laughs> but the energies actually had numbers and were part of the set. And I will flip through so you guys can see it. We still have a couple cards missing. This is our jungle set. There's the three cards missing there. And our fossil sets, we have three cards also missing there. Um, <laughs> and we do have the promo down there as well. And of course, this is our Team Rocket set. As you can tell, there's several cards missing. So, but uh, Mudkip actually did. <laughs> Uh, he went out and did get the Charizard for this set. Uh, I think he had both the Charizard, I believe. Uh, he had that Blastoise. I actually already had this, the Hollow Dark Blastoise, in one of the old vintage binders I had. So, <laughs> so we have both the Charizard and the Blastoise from Team Rocket as well. And um, yeah, as you can see, it's a lot of holes missing out of the Team Rocket set. But that's okay, it's going to take a little bit, and I'll show you guys the promos real quick. And we have quite a few of the promos, there will be some missing in here as well, but working our way through these promos too. <laughs> and these are this uh, back page, you see the Ancient Mew, which marks the end of the promos, and these are some special Pikachus here. <laughs> We have this one is the Red Cheeks Pikachu, as you guys can tell. And I think I just put this one in the back as well. Oh no, because it's the E. If you guys can tell, there's an E right there. So that's what makes that Pikachu special. This is our base set era binder. <laughs> um, I 
put this one in a special place. <laughs> uh, so it's hit well hidden, but I'm excited to finish this. <laughs> Definitely after we finish the Jungle and Fossil, I will have a very much a uh, focus on the Team Rocket. And then we'll start working on more on the Gem Era cards. I'm just doing a few here and there as I see them. But yeah, <laughs> wanted to show you guys this. This is an accomplishment for my Kip and I. So um, if you guys would, hit that like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And leave a comment down below what you guys think of today's video. What you guys think of our vintage binder um, that the sets we're putting together. So, <laughs> and I was giving a shout out to my kid too. <laughs> we're working on this together. <laughs> but until the next one, take care, sleep well, and good night.